Will Smith just keep looking worse and worse and worse and worse, bro. I have yet to dive in to the details of this headline, bro, but this is going viral and it is Jada Pinkett Smith embarrassing the hell out of Will Smith yet again, bro. Headline, Jada and Will have been separated since 2016. I'm about to dive into these details, bro, to see really what is up with all this, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'd imagine this Jada Pinkett Smith old manly alpha Napoleon ass out here just pegging Will Smith's <laughs> image. The thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it right. because I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. But in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. This interview on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, 23 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Cat. How do you keep it hot? Cat. Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, My f the dudes in line, y'all. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. I mean, over the next several years, Jada Bro, they've been and Will kept the ass off from the, en the entanglement. Bitch, you wasn't entangled in nothing, dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was divorced, bro. Bro, <laughs> why? For what reason? Y'all want to save face? Y'all's family is already like looking crazy from Jaden to Willow and all that, bro. Like y'all. Just thinking y'all swinging from Will Smith being gay to to, uh, to Jada being in love with Tupac's ghost. Right? Ain't like ain't nobody looking at y'all like the example of what a family should be. Y'all as a couple has always been a bit odd, bro. But y'all Hollywood and Hollywood couples is odd as fuck, bro. But like this shit low key take the cake, bro. I don't know what's worse, bro. Like just Will Smith just being quiet and allowing Jada just to make him look like a bitch, or the fact that y'all been lying about being together and Will still being a the, like you ain't even with her and you're volunteering to still be looked at like a bitch. but clearly that don't matter to you bro but like i can't wrap my mind around the fact that y'all ain't even been together y'all been divorced for seven years and y'all been making it seem like y'all been together which has been making will smith look like i don't have a better word besides a bitch, like the perfect word to put on it like the biggest bitch. With a, like a cuck low key, you know what I mean? And you ain't even with her, bro. Like, I, what? What is that about? Been lying the whole time, duping society, bro. Duping everybody, making it seem like y'all been together forever. And Jada been getting dicked down. <laughs> she been getting dicked down this entire time. What the hell we been doing this whole time? <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. <laughs> he Neither gave let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I no, y'all some liars. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. You're some liars. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet mm. still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah how to be in partnership right did y'all kids know in regards to how do we present that to people you know and we hadn't figured that out during our walk in baltimore jada reflected on their breakup why did the relationship fracture oh well, why it fractured that that's a lot of things yeah and i think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through mm. whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live 
separately. We live separately. So we're just gonna lie to ourselves, lie to the whole world because we don't want to get a divorce. <laughs> what type of shit is that? That's delusion like a motherfucker. We're gonna get divorced, but we're just not gonna get a paper divorce because I don't believe in divorce. And then on top of that, I've seen another headline about Chris Rock supposedly trying to holler at Jada after he heard that they got a divorce. And then you know, me reading that headline automatically makes me think about <laughs> Will put up this whole charade. <laughs> Keep my wife's name out your f***ing mouth. Bitch, she ain't your wife, first of all. <laughs> but like, what is that about, bro? <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, maybe there's some hostility there, dog. Maybe Will knew about Chris Rock trying to holler at his wife, but let me let me let me peep this, bro. So yeah, Chris Rock allegedly asked Jada Pinkett Smith out on a date amid divorce rumors. Us news: Jada Pinkett Smith revealed Chris Rock asked her out prior to Will Smith slapping him at the Oscars in 2022. Jada revealed to People she and Smith have been living separate lives since 2016. And years prior to the incident at the Academy Awards, Rock had tried to take her on a date. I think every summer all the reports would come out that me and Will were getting divorced. And this particular summer, Chris, he thought, what? He thought we were getting divorced. So he called me and basically was like, I'd love to take you on a date. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, aren't y'all getting a divorce? I was like, no, Chris, those are just rumors. He was appalled and he profusely apologized. And that was that. The set it off actress later revealed while she has not spoken to Rock since the Oscar slap, but she did get an immediate apology from him after the incident when the broadcast cut the commercials. She also confirmed Rock and Will Smith's relationship has been strained long before she began dating the Wild Wild West actor. Chris came down to the end of the stage and tried to apologize to me. He said, I didn't mean you any harm. I said, I can't talk about this right now, Chris. This is some old shit, I thought. This was about the Oscars in 2016 and their stuff that they had before I even came into the picture in the late 80s. I've got to leave that to Will and Chris to talk about, but they got their stuff for sure. Oh, okay, so there was some hostility there. Right, there was some hostility there. Chris and Will had some beef. You know what I mean, he probably had shit to do with Jada. He just took that as an opportunity to smack the hell out of goddamn Rock. In addition to the fact that he probably know that Chris tried to holla at his roommate <laughs> when when they were really divorced and she, when, and she lied and said they wasn't divorced. What else, what else we got? What else we got on this? Will Smith almost beat Tommy Davidson up after kissing Jada. Hold on, Me? what the f is this, dog? <laughs> Bruh, dog, the story just continues, bro. Like, Will Smith is the biggest b on. I ain't gonna say that, dog. He the biggest b in Hollywood, bro. Like, he's the biggest, the biggest like A list celebrity ever, bro. Like, has there ever been an A list celebrity as polarizing as Will Smith to 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 be highlighted as such a hoe? I, mean, I, I can get mad at Jada, but I mean, Jada ain't doing nothing wrong because all she's doing is what Will's allowing her to do. Me and um um Will had a run in. Yeah, like when you, yeah, Carl, you try, yeah, yeah. You try to put his wife in a little block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't find out that for 15 years because he never told me that. See, he came into the he came into the trailer and I was sitting down, right? He's standing over me like this. And he's like, I don't appreciate that, man. I don't appreciate that. And I'm like, well, what you talking about? I always know to play it off. Right. You know what I mean? His tone. Well, I'm sitting down. So, oh, look, this was 15 years later? Or was it? No, this was then. Yeah, and then okay. I didn't find out why. Right, okay, okay. I was asking okay. him why then, but he right. wouldn't say nothing. Right. Right, and I'm going, what's going on, man? Tell me what's happening, man. And since he was standing yeah. and I was sitting, I was a real nice fella. Ah! I mean, that, I mean that, that's, that's about physics, right? right? Right, right. So I'm like, you know, oh, man, what's going on, man? I mean, hey, man. He's like, I don't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And Jada's going, Will. Well, I'm saying, but um, I mean, what, what's happening, man? Now yeah. you tell me what's happening. Hmm? Hmm? You know when a dude does yeah. this. But he's about to his bottom lip. Hmm? He's about to do something bad. He might do something, him. right? So, I'm, so I'm like, you know, I did the I did the whole, you remember the snake? Yeah. I did the snake. Well, well, what, you know, and got up. Right. And then I was like, you know, so what are you talking about, man? And I was still in that posture. So you didn't really know what he was actually talking I about. I didn't, did. but I know what he was doing. Right. So I was like, come on, man. I mean. What's up? Just tell me what's up. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know what's up. You know what's up? So finally I just said, this is a small place and people are here. You want, we should talk about it. 
right. me and you outside because it right. looked like you could need to get something off, off your chest, chest. right? And then Jada was like, oh, no, 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 y'all, no, y'all. And I was like, what do you mean, no, nah, y'all? Tell him. Because she knows she's out there being a hoe and she's about to get caught up. This ain't Will's first rodeo with I'm pretty sure that she was out here in these streets making Will Smith look bad the entire time, bro. She probably getting dicked up and down all through their fucking relationship, bro. She sound like, bro, she was a man. She's wearing the pants. She calling the shots, right? She had Will Smith on the leash. Independence Day, Fresh Prince as I am fucking legend, Pursuit of Happiness, Bad Boys, Will Smith out here looking like the man, bro. That's so terrible. Tell him. And that was the end of that. Right. You see? Right. And I never knew. It wasn't until my book came out. Right. Years How did later. I didn't know right. if he was kissing her. Where I counted that as one of the things that really bothered me and hurt me. Right. Bad, because I didn't know, and I look up to him, and I love him to death. So you really you know I mean? didn't know why he was upset. You had no earthly idea no earthly that it was idea. because of an on-screen kiss or an attempt to kiss. No. Oh, so 15 years later, how did you find out? This is how I found out. I put it in the book, you know, and um, I found out about literature. You can't put something in a book about somebody right. unless they sign off on it. Right. Oh. Right. So I was like, ah. Uh, you know, and I didn't want to put stuff like that in the book anyway. Right. But I was trying to be real honest about right. my experiences. So I went to his best friend, Charlie Mack. So I called Charlie. And I said, Charlie, um, what do you think about this? He said, yeah, 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 you know, uh, you know, Will, Will, Will cool. Cool. And, and Jada cool too. Just, just give me the quote. And I, I sent it to him. And, 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 and they'll call you. they call you, Tom. I sent it to him. Call me. Even Jada, she said, they say, yeah, go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and put that. And what I put was that I th thought in the book, I thought the only thing that could be possible was the producers came to my trailer right when we were on the last scene. It was a kissing scene. Right. And they said, the kissing scene's now, not later on tonight. We got to do that now. And I said, but I haven't rehearsed with Jada. That's the most important rehearsal that you can ever have. Right. You put oh, your lips kid. on a female right. on screen. Right. And so and I was like, we never got a chance to work that right. out. You can make it look real if right. she's working with you and right. everything, right? Without kissing, right? Right. And so I said, I can't do that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. They said, well, we'll ask her. So they went and came back. She said, just go for it. And even then I was like, I ain't just going to go for it. You know, but I know I have to make it look real. Right. So I'm trying to make it look real, and she's kind of uncomfortable about right. it. Right. Is this for um, Booty Call? It's got to be. It's only one I can think of. Jada, Jada Pinkett, Vivica Fox, Tommy Lee, and Jamie Fox. That's got to be Booty Call. <laughs> Joe for real, well, you got bad at booty. <laughs> you know? Right. But we got through it, and you never could tell. Right. That's all I wanted. Right. Right? Was, was to get it to play into the film. Right. That's all we want, right? Right. So I got it in there. And so they called me and said, hey, that is what happened. Wow. Yeah, and I didn't find out for that long. It was more than 15 years. But what the was Will mad about then? He ain't even kiss her. He ain't even kiss her for real. Damn, Will. Got to be more careful, bro. Said it last time. When Jada put that damn video out, pining over some damn Tupac still. Right, just continue embarrassing the hell out of Will. But I, it makes sense now because they ain't even together. They divorced. They're just the world think they're together. So it seemed like Jada is continuing to drag this man through the mud. But at the same time, they know that the world still thinks they're together. So that's continuing to just throw blows at, at Will Smith's image, making him look even crazier for continuing to entertain someone like Jada. And it's, it makes you look crazy. Make both of y'all look crazy, but it makes Will look crazy er to entertaining this idea of being divorced, but having the world still thinking y'all together when Jada out here the entire time moving like she's single, or at least moving like she the king and Will Smith is the queen. Bro, like it's, it's, it's up beyond repair, bro. Like the way Will has moved, the way Jada has moved publicly, you can't take none of that shit back. I feel bad because of how this is affecting Will Smith's image and legacy, bro. Last impressions of everything. You know what I mean? Especially when Will Will isn't acting, right? He been blackballed from, from acting because of the whole Oscar slap and shit, bro. That's gonna be burned in people's minds last. 
as far as Will Smith, Will Smith's concern, which is going to put all this work he's done into vain, at least for me and a lot of people. You know what I mean? I've talked to a lot of y'all, you know, read y'all's comments about how y'all feel about the whole Will Smith situation, bro. And, like, you really have that question of, like, what is Will Smith going to be known for the most now? You know, his image and how Jada has tarnished his image as a man or what he's able to accomplish in Hollywood, right? He was, he was the man bro and just like that you just you went you go from being king of the hill to a 